For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. For the record. story to tell you guys. Oh, great, we need fuel. <laughs> Last time this happened, we ran out on the side of the road. Ironically, Arabella was with me. I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story. Uh, a couple months ago, Kevin Brown, really awesome agent on the team, he, uh, he's in this contest. He wins it. it. Obviously, he's not in the contest with me. He would have never won. So he's in a contest with somebody else. He wins it. Now, his prize was to get a suit. Uh, I'm telling you guys this now because we're actually heading to an investment property and we're gonna meet Kevin and you're gonna notice this but I need to let y'all know right now so the prize is a suit so we go and uh, he, he says to me Phil I, I want a really really nice suit I want a really really nice suit I say okay Kev you know what do you want it to look like he said well I want, I want it to look like my hero so I'm like oh man this is awesome he wants a suit like his dad will wear so I go on Facebook and I go because I'm friends with his dad online and I look through the pictures, and then I notice his dad's never wearing a suit, so I'm super confused. So I, then I think to myself, Kevin's an athlete. Michael Jordan, Lamar Jackson, Tom Brady, something like that, you know. So I start looking at athletes in suits, and I'm showing him suits, and he's like, man, what are you doing? I said, my hero. Guess what? Kevin says, Phil, I want a suit like yours. Didn't even dawn on me. I'm his hero. So here's the deal. Today you're going to notice something. Kevin's going to be wearing a suit. He didn't want a suit like mine, he wanted my suit. So he says, Phil, there's a suit you have, I really want it. It's not because I think I'll look good in it, I'll probably look really ugly, but I wanna feel like Phil does. I bought him the suit, guys, I bought him the suit. He's like my son, he's like my son, I bought him the suit. And, um, but here's the thing, Kevin, he's funny, so he's gonna make comments, cause I'm, oh, I guess I didn't tell you. He asked me to wear the same suit today, and he's gonna wear it today too. So here's the thing, he's gonna make funny comments and stuff like that, just let him do it, guys. And, and he's probably gonna say, look who wore it better, we know I wore it better, he's ugly as all hell. Just give it to him, just give it to him, all right, guys? But in fact, comment in the blog when this comes out, Kevin, I love your suit, but put two periods at the end and I'll know that's a joke, all right? So anyway, that's it, let's go, vlog day, another one, done, in, in, in the fill suit. Because you only choose to drive on an empty tank when we're going to BFE. I don't choose to drive on an empty tank when we're going to BFE. I choose to drive on an empty tank when I'm with you. I like that stress that it induces. You're going to die. Gonna Whoa. die. <laughs> we're driving. Maybe don't say that. <laughs> Talk about ill-timed comments. <laughs> like that's on. Oh, sh**. We're on E. Turn left on US ten miles to none. US no miles? No miles. Take me to that gas station stand. Okay, well, it's six miles away. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully we got a six-mile reserve tank. <laughs> oh Somebody should have listened. Refuel immediately. Oh, <laughs> my God. Phil, I swear oh I'm going to kill you. You got this tank? No, I'm about to you got this charge you Making for the you inconvenience of my life. Carvilla, I pay for the inconvenience of you being around every Friday. Well, it's not enough. Okay. <laughs> so, Portia, if you're watching, I'd love to know why the gas meter says you have 10 miles of gas and it goes from 10 to zero immediately. Because they probably so. assume that people who own Porsches aren't idiots and fill up their gas tank. See, my issue with that statement, and my, really my only issue, is I sort of feel like you're implying that I'm an idiot. You are. <laughs> the worst part is she's been telling me to get gas since we left. Oh, buddy. Hey, Alan. Hey, you need me to run a gas can after you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, no bullshit, Alan. We're on zero, and we're in Centerville, and we're trying to make it to a gas station. <laughs> we're one mile away. We're one mile away with no gas for the past uh, eight miles. <laughs> We thought it'd be funny to call you. It's a vlog day, and only you would truly understand. <laughs> <laughs>
Man, this is bogging me. Do you want to die today? Pull that off. <laughs> this thing about those plastics that I just like them on. But them having the arrow printed on it definitely should. <laughs> sticking out at least like eight inches off my head. Uh huh. With this heavy layers upon layers of saran wrap. Uh huh. And then I had this hot cape on me the whole time, and I had to wear a mask. Uh huh. Sorry. So is that is that your is that your whole story? Yes, yeah, so and then I had to sit there like that for like 45 minutes. It was hot. Whoa. Can you repeat the middle part? I fell asleep. <laughs> Me and Josh can't both go in the middle of the storm. Spills cloth first up again. Nah. No, it's not spring forward. Nah. I guess the bill does say when he gets here, that's when the time starts. <laughs> you just wear my suit. Wear my suit. He's wearing your suit, man. Did you tell him that I was wearing this suit? Did you not know? He does it from time to time. But, you know, he's some, sometimes it's like, you know, your little brother when you're when you're younger and they really just try to match you. And, um, right. You know, he, he, he looks up to you. He's my, he's my little brother. And he can't be mad at it. it. Makes me happy. I heard Cinderella. I heard, I heard about that comment when you said it. Oh, nice pants, bro. Oh, thank you. Check out my jacket. <laughs> Check out my That's jacket. That's why you told me not to wear a brown belt today. Mm-hmm. Because you didn't want... Okay. I actually... Sometimes, you know, yeah. Sometimes Phil reaches out to my wife and says, what's, what's Kevin wearing today? <laughs> Stephanie, you look wonderful. Oh, thank you. Just fantastic. <laughs> Wait, what's the It's a nice suit, Kevin. It's a nice suit, Kevin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, this here's Kevin Brown. There's Stephanie Brown. The only reason Kevin's on team is because we knew Stephanie was going to get her license. <laughs> it was just, he's, he's the unfortunate lead in to having a great agent on the team. Yeah, look, she's posing for him, too. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Look at you, too. I wasn't on the team, and Phil wouldn't know what to wear every day. That was it? Yeah. I already talked to him earlier when I saw you wear my clothes. Yeah? So you already talked to the camera about it earlier? What happened? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to say anything else about it? No, I'm proud of you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Let's go. I told you, son. I told you. What are we doing here? Where are we at? All right, so we're in Centerville right now. Uh, we work with investors, and this one has really, really um, turned around. I mean, they have two masters. Yeah. Now they have a, two masters. It's a nice house. Mm -hmm. So li listen guys, one thing that you all should know is Kevin said we work with investors. We do a lot, whether it's custom home building, uh, flips, renos, things like that. But this house actually was sold to us by an investor. Kevin brought his investor to buy it, right? So basically we listed it with one of, one of our investors. Kevin investors bought it. Boom, they're in the process of the flip. So let's go inside, yeah. let's check it out. Let's see let's where everything's it. at. <laughs> This isn't, uh, like someone really needs to see what all these rooms are going to be and how the flow is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. So wait till you see the other right. door. Oh, yeah. So they might be continuing this whole driveway and pulling the garage. This is going to sell fast. And all four comps in the area, um, when we first checked out the home, they're all sold. Good. I think that as soon as they start getting prepped on finishes and, and things like that, we need to come out, do a bunch of comps. So, um, here's the deal. You see this property, this is an investor property. We've got another investor property that we're gonna see later on today. We have um, new home builder, custom home builder properties in Jessup, in Riva. Where, what else do we have? We've got a lot of, where's, um, it, we've got investor properties with Kevin, come over here. We've got investor properties with Kevin in um, Arnold. In Arnold yeah. Right, so like we, the thing that, people you know you really got to think about it. you see us working with buyers and working with sellers and doing things like that it's more than just taking a family and putting them in the perfect home but there's a business side of this too for investors and that's where we come in and agents like Kevin come in and they work hand in hand with the investors not only to make sure that when they sell a property they make uh, the proper uh, profits that they need but also 
to make sure that when they need a property, we find them the right property. Exactly. So, I mean, it's a whole process that goes into it, but we're here and we do that. There's, there's multiple different avenues to how we run our business and build our business and help business people to families just find the right the right place for them so right and we're it. doing this every day so we know exactly what buyers are looking for yep. and that's what we help the investors with too yeah exactly when the buyer says i really want this we can say to our investor we have somebody if you can build if you build it they will come <laughs> there we go i'm a nerd <laughs> yeah this is amazing uh -huh. ladies are we ready to go yes all right this was great Yeah. Who wore it better? Yeah. You like it's that. not really who wore it better, it's obvious. <laughs> Do it. Let's get this jacket off. You want me to show you how to hang your jacket up? Are you good? Mm -hmm. huh? Nothing. Yeah, that was just asking. Oh, we're good. Let me do this. <laughs> Stephanie, take care of Kevin. I'll stop. Stop texting Phil see you guys. about what I'm wearing for the day. Alright, see you, bro. <laughs> Kevin. I'm proud of you. No, man, I, I'm proud of you, man. So, I. I told you guys he was gonna have some story. All right, I warned you that he's gonna have some story. You know I look better. I'm here. Oh, bye, bye, Kev. See you, man. Yeah, have a good day, man. Yeah. So it's I'm just I'm his hero. There's not really much. You saw how he looked at me when I came. Oh my God! Like when we pulled up, he was like, "Oh, Phil's here." He was all giddy. That's just it comes with the life. But he can say whatever he wants. But the truth is the truth, and y'all know it. All right. I told you guys from the beginning. He called me. He's so happy. He's probably gonna text me. Thanks a lot, Phil. Man, I know I, I played it off, but you really are my hero. So something like that. It's just it's normal life for me. Arabella, don't tell him what you said before the camera was on. Phil, I wish I could wear shoes. I want to look like you too. It's whatever. No. All right, where are we going? Millersville. So we're at another property. We're um, on Poplar Road in Millersville. It's all about investors today. I mean, we were just on the Eastern Shore with investors. You heard about some investor properties we have um, in Jessup, Maryland, Riva, Maryland, Ardell, Maryland, Millersville, Maryland. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's check this place out. That's cool. This is nice, dude. Poplar. It looks great. However, three things. It needs to be clean. There's no electric and there's no water. So here's where we're at. Um, the house is stunning. We just finished walking it. It's absolutely gorgeous. This house is going to hit the market in about a week. The cleaning company actually just got here. Um, the plumber and the electrician are coming back for a final walkthrough inspection today. Um, and then this thing, I mean, videos, it's all going to be staged. It's all going to be ready, right? By the time this vlog comes out, the fact is this house is incredibly priced at, I believe, $380,000 uh, or $480,000, right? $480,000? $479.9, something like that. Uh, but in the area that it's in, it's just not gonna sit. So by the time you see this, yes, this house probably be, will be sold. But that's the reality of what it is when you work with really, really good investors. And the team in general, I mean, you saw Kevin and Stephanie today, you see me, but the truth is all of us work with different investors in different areas. So if you're thinking to yourself, I want a house that is like, not a million dollars, but has a million dollar feel. I mean, guys, you, you want to get with us so we can link you up with one of our investors that will get together and do the work and turn it into something beautiful. That's it. Let's go. On to the next. See ya. Yeah, right. just me and it. Okay. And then we'll do something like creative, dope, walkthrough type thing. You should wear something other than gray or blue. Oh, blue's kind of my thing. You should get your red suit. Maybe you'll have your red, red suit. Red suit. Give me some of that. Ruined everything. Yep. Just like everything. I'm excited for this house, man. All right. Um, recap. Investors. Bottom line, guys, what you saw today is that we work with a lot of investors. If you are in real estate or you're thinking about getting involved with real estate, being an investor is a great opportunity. The thing you want to do is get with an agent or a team that really understands how to work with investors, how to get you the best 
price possible on the property that you purchase, how to assess the proper ARV so that at the end you're not upside down, how to make sure you don't overspend in what you're putting into the, uh, the actual flip. Uh, you wanna make sure that the people you work with understand the industry. So the beautiful thing about us is that's what we do. And you saw a little bit of that today. There's a lot of different, we'll call them avenues to how we build our real estate company and this is just one of them so get with us let's do it we have a lot more going on today uh, half the day is finished I've got a meeting here um, on so, oh Phil's facts we're shooting season two of Phil's facts tomorrow so we've got a Phil's facts meeting uh, I've got a listing appointment and then a bunch of other stuff to do but uh, what was today about it was all about investors different avenues in business let's get it that's it vlog complete we're done <laughs>